Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to give you a quick update in regards to my actual first day of my two weeks over the road. So stay with me till the end and I'll catch you on the other side. Alright, alright, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Abdiel. For any of you that don't know me yet, um, in this channel I do go over my whole entire journey and I try to document as much as I can um, to give you guys something to see and give you an input in regards to what to expect when you sign up for the actual CAP program which Snyder Trucking. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and hit that notification icon so that you get notified when the next videos come out. All right, let's get into the video. Okay. All right. So this today is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. This is the very first week um, that we are actually out with a training engineer. I didn't really document my whole drive and I haven't even given you an update yet in regards to where I was sent. I'm actually going to give you an update to let you know where they sent me. I'm actually in Ohio. It was actually pretty cool because it was only uh, about two hours and a half of drive away from the operating center that we were currently in, in uh, Indiana, Indianapolis. Um, so it wasn't that far of a drive and we came to uh, stay at a city called uh, Van Wert. Ohio and this is where we are at. There is no operating center here uh, We were just put in a hotel and then from here from this hotel we drive five minutes To meet with a training engineer today was our very first day The very first thing we did uh, We did a pre-trip inspection, but anyways before I get into the details um, Yeah, I just wanted to give you an overview um, I got partnered with another student uh, because there is a lack of training engineers they're doing two students per training engineer. Um, it's not that bad. Um, it does cut into your actual uh, training time on the road. Um, you know, like if you, it was only one person or one student, you get to drive the whole entire day. Uh, but in this case, I take turns with the other students. So just be aware that if you do come with Snyder, there is that chance that you will be partnered with another student with one TE, um, but it's not bad, you know, um, I know I got at least four hours of driving today and it was, it was fun, it was good, I mean, I enjoyed every single minute of it, um, the TE that we got is very awesome, he's very laid back, he's very chill, and he guides you as well in the beginning a little bit, but then if he notices that you're doing a very good job, he'll just let you do your thing, and he'll just tell you, take a left here, take a right, and yeah, these, these are actual real uh, uh, routes that this training engineer is doing. Th these are, this is basically his routine, his work. He actually has a dedicated account and we're just tagging along and doing the driving and he's just guiding us left and right. Um, but you know, we're, we are pulling into the docking stations. We are backing in. Um, we get to experience going into the actual facility, collecting the paperwork, signing any paperwork, and um, you know, in, in certain occasions, we had to actually uh, load a couple of pallets inside. Um, you know, in this particular route with this particular TE. Um, but again, everybody's different. Everybody uh, has different routes. I think a lot of the over the roads or regionals don't have to do any of that. He is a daily driver. Uh, he goes home every day. Um, but anyways, um, we came out to Ohio, Van Wert, Ohio. And like I mentioned to you guys, um, it was only a two hour and a half drive. So it wasn't that bad. We came here, the very first thing we saw right away and we were kind of happy, me and the other students, is that we, there was a Walmart literally three minutes away. So it's like, boom, what else could we ask for? You know, we just have that real close by if we ever need to go. Um, I do want to let you know though that on during your over the road time, which is two weeks in the uh, CAT program with uh, Schneider, uh, they don't provide any more any um, meals so that is something that's going to come out of pocket now you need to figure out what you're going to want to do um, whether you're going to buy food every day out on the road or 
you can basically prep your own food and just take whatever you're gonna make um, every single day. Um, that's the route that I'm doing. I'm doing something very simple, very straightforward, nothing too complicated. Something a guy would do, sandwiches. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Um, but you can definitely do as you please. And like I said, if you don't take any food and if you get hungry, you do have to spend money out on the road. Um, but I'm not trying to do that because I know it can get pretty expensive. Um, but anyways, yeah, so we're in Ohio. Today was our very first day. And, um, you know, it's just uh, every day that's passing by is getting me closer to my goal. Closer and closer to my goal so that I can accomplish my CDL license and get certified. Um, so yeah, the very first thing we did today was pre-trip. So we got there around 7, 7.15 in the morning. Um, he's expecting us to go on, on duty, not driving or anything like that, just on duty while we're doing our pre-trip inspections. Um, we do a complete pre-trip inspection on the whole entire vehicle from front to the back. Um, it is protocol, so you do have to do it even after you're already... Um, you know you've uh, graduated and you've been working for the company for however long it's protocol Schneider protocol so you have to do a pre-trip inspection for the vehicle and you have to do a pre-trip inspection for the actual trailer itself as well um, and um, we were out in a parking parking lot of uh, like a factory I don't know what it is exactly um, but that's where the tractor was uh, we drove in through this gate to go pick up the, the trailer in that same facility and it was an empty trailer and we just went I think it was a total of five different stops to pick up different um, pallets of material or whatever it is that we were picking up I'm not too sure exactly what it was and uh, yeah so we were doing that me and the other student were taking turns I drove most of the time in the morning I think it was a total of four hours that I drove and um, and then after that, we switched. Now it was his, the other student's turn. I got to sit in the back and, and just kind of watch and al analyze. And um, it was very, very chill. I mean, I, I didn't really, I was not nervous. I know the other student, he didn't seem like he was nervous either. Um, the training engineer looked like he wasn't nervous at all either. In the beginning, you know, like anyone else, he was a little quiet, but he opened up. He was very chill. He started talking to us more, and yeah, we were just enjoying our moment. Uh, I was just enjoying the ride. You know, like I said, he just guides you. He tells you, all right, you're gonna you know, exit into the highway, or you're gonna take a ride on this turn, and you just have to make sure you're doing things right. Try not to hit any curbs, because he is also gonna be um, grading you. He's gonna be um, uh, giving you a score, or I don't know if it's, uh, like marking you good points or marking you negative points but either way they're they're graining you and um again you know you just don't want to hit any curves uh you don't want to do anything dangerous of course um because that's you know i think a, like a you hit a curb and it's an automatic fail but um some of them can be a little bit lenient and um merciful and so they might be able to you know give you another chance but you don't want to take that chances either so i uh, just do as best as you can um follow instructions and i think most importantly just keep calm don't don't get nervous um if you're nervous it can lead to worse things um cause you to uh, not completely be focused um but anyway so just just keep calm and do your thing you know it's like a, any other day don't even think about it don't think that you're driving a 53 foot semi truck it just yeah it's it seems like it's wow it's crazy but it is what it is keep calm just do your thing drive be confident in yourself and if you're confident in yourself you're gonna do do things the right way um so yeah just like i said it's we're out here in ohio today was monday was our first day and I can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to do it all over again. Um, I think tomorrow, he did say that we have a little bit more stops. Um, but it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. We, 
a lot of the students we have a discord and we're all sharing in there um, our experience uh, our experiences as we're going and everybody so far hasn't complained everybody is pretty excited everybody is happy um, but yeah so this is the very first day of the third week I mean of my first week over the road with the training engineer and yeah they put me in a, another hotel um, I actually got a bed, which is not bad at all. Nice little king size bed. It's a nice little straightforward um, room. Not not too luxurious or anything like that, but you know it is what it is. But anyways, so just wanted to give you guys an update um, in regards to my first day over the road with the TE. Um, there was a couple of students that probably got got it a little worse they actually had to go over the road constantly versus me I'm just basically oh, um I'm doing my uh, my um, over the road training with a daily driver that goes home every day so we get to go home every single day that's a plus so if you get that also props to you if you get to have the experience to be over the road more often then it's not bad either um, it's just more experience in your hands but anyways please smash that like button consider subscribing and hit that notification icon and again if you have any questions please put them in the comments below um, like always I'll do my best to answer any questions you have and if I don't know the answer to the question I'll try to find it and I'll comment under your comment as well so please smash that like button hit that notification icon and subscribe and I'll talk to you on the next one. Have a good one.